so I am back with a Good Being May unboxing video and I know I never got around to posting a review of the April box but it's kind of been insane in my life right now. I have work, school, and trying to maintain a YouTube sort of filming schedule, editing schedule. I mean it just gets crazy. I'm in my last quarter at school so it's kind of intense and then I'm done with it forever. So once July hits I'll be able to dedicate filming and editing time each week. So to my 15 subscribers just just wait until the future because right now I'm just kind of all over the place. But to get back on track, unboxing, good being, let's do this. All right, so as per usual, there's a cute little card in the front with a quote, which I will read. It says, at some point in life, the world's beauty becomes enough. You don't need to photograph it, paint it, or remember it. It is enough. Toni Morrison. I love that quote, especially at the time of Instagram when, like, we spend so much time, like, trying to pose a product for a post or pose ourself to post on Instagram. It's just, this is a very good reminder. I'm going to put this up on my bulletin board because that's I needed that for sure something that I forgot to post in my last video was that you actually get this window with good being where you can choose two of your products sometimes even more of the products that are going to be in your box for the next month which is a great feature that I don't know if the other boxes have that ability I know Pettivore or Petivore however you pronounce it does not have that ability last time I was subscribed to it I didn't have that option. I'm gonna grab the top item, which is actually something that I did get to choose for this box. It is these Hum Nutrition Little Packets. I've heard great things about this brand, so I'm super stoked they partnered with Good Being for this box because I've been wanting to try them. And this is the Raw Beauty Green Superfood Powder. And once again, you don't get just one package tried out, you get three, so you do get an opportunity to use it multiple days to see how it actually is working with your body, if you like it. I really love that about Good Being. Lots of sample size. I mean, no. How, how do I say that? Lots of product. There you go. Lots of product to really test out the sample. That's what I'm trying to say. And again, like I said in my last video, they come with cards for each product that's in your box to give you a little description of them, how to use them, ingredients. Each one's a little bit different, and this one for Hum says, looking for the ultimate beauty snack that keeps you going? Raw beauty it is. 30 plus beauty detox superfoods help improve energy, support radiant skin, and boost metabolism. In a hum, hum, <laughs> consumer, <sighs> I can't talk. In a hum consumer panel, 97% of users loved the taste and reported an increase in productivity. 76% saw an improved skin tone after one month. 81% reported improved digestion, and 70% lost weight by replacing unhealthy snacks with raw beauty. This is also vegan, and I have yet to double check and make sure that this box is 100% vegan, but I'm going to go with like 98% certainty. Certainty. I can never talk when I start filming. I don't know what it is. There's nobody to be nervous in front of. It's just me. I don't know. I don't know why this happens every time. So for the full size of the hum raw beauty green superfood powder that is $39 but for this little sample selection that we got it's valued at $3.90 so we're gonna keep tabs on that do a full retail value at the end and the next item in here that I see wrapped in bubble wrap let's see what they think all right what is this wow I love this packaging I love glass packaging I'm all about that get the plastic out of here this is the Wildcraft Cleanse Makeup Remover. Ooh, super stoked to try this. It smells, I don't know how to describe that. It says chamomile and honey, but I wouldn't call that chamomile and honey. I'm sorry, I can't tell you what it smells like because I'm really bad at descriptions. I don't know what that is. You know what? I'm going to ask my roommate to smell it and then ask her and I'll put it on screen right down here. So the little card it comes with says, Calm, cleanse, and rejuvenate skin with the gentle healing power of chamomile and honey. 
Designed as an introduction to oil cleansing, this product effectively removes makeup and residue from eyes and face. I love that it that it said like it contained the phrase from eyes because that's always the hardest part for me is getting my eye makeup off. There's always stuff left behind. Oh, it says to shake well. So maybe if I shake it, it'll smell better. Nope, still smells the same. I don't know what it is. It's driving me crazy. I can't put my finger on it. Okay, so for the full size one of these babies, it's four ounces for $18, and this one is two ounces and is valued at $12. So this is what I would call a deluxe sample for sure, since it's half the size of their full size. Um, great value. Can't wait to try this. Okay, the next thing I see is this. I don't know what, it's in a little plastic baggie. It kind of looks like an essential oil or something. It says, unwind, rest, and relax herbal oil. Ooh. Ingredients are grapeseed oil, olive oil, vitamin E, EO blend of lavender, roman, and German chamomile. Let's see how this smells now. That smells like eucalyptus. Did I say there was eucalyptus in there? No, but it, that t is totally what this smells like. Maybe I'm associating eucalyptus and chamomile with the same thing. Maybe chamomile, yeah, maybe that's what it is. So this is from the brand Curandera Remedies, and it says, this oil is formulated to rest the body and relax the mind. Simple yet effective and excellent for use with children and pets. Use this oil before bedtime or when a pause is necessary. Okay then, pause is necessary. I'm gonna do some behind my ears. Do not operate machinery while using this product. It can induce sleep. Good to know, won't be driving for the rest of the day. Alrighty then. Oh, how to use. Apply to temples, chest, and back of neck. So I didn't really apply it right, but whatever. I smell earthy now. So the full size of this is $25 for one ounce. This is 0.5 ounces and valued at $12.50. So again, half the full size, deluxe sample number two. All right, what is this cutie little leafy thing? Ooh, oh natural. Look how cute the packaging with the leaf. That is so cute. It looks like an eyeshadow. Oh, it's a highlighter. Wow, okay, what does this say? This is a rose gold highlighter. Sheer light reflective cream highlighter designed to brighten and define the face and decolletage where the light would naturally strike you. Universally, universally flattering. Again, having trouble reading. Medium gold with rose undertones. Doubles as a luminous blusher. Formulated without gluten, parabens, fillers, animal biobiotics, synthetic percentages. I'm just going to stop reading because I can't today. So let's apply this and see how this baby looks. I cannot get over this packaging. I have zero makeup on today. I don't normally wear makeup to school and I'm just coming back from school right now. So excuse the redness all over the place. You can't really, I feel like it's not gonna show up. <laughs> Let's try the other side. Am I putting too much? I don't have a mirror right now so I don't even know how much I'm putting on. I'm just looking in the viewfinder. Can you tell? Oh yeah, I can see a little bit. It's very sparkly. I am sweating like a mofo right now, so... Oh my gosh. Okay, so last but not least is this Previse Hyaluronic Moisturizer. Ooh, that sounds fancy. All right. <laughs> Excuse me. So the card says this Lux Foam Moisturizer features potent antioxidants aerated in a micro bubble mousse to fight oxidation and provide hydration without clogging pores. The use of natural marine and botanical ingredients with little or no aroma instead of essential oils result in a virtually scent-free product. Free of parabens, blah blah blah, tells you what it's free of, um, and it's vegan. After reading this little card, I'm actually really excited to try this. I'm usually super picky with my moisturizers, but it goes as far to say that it fights oxidation, which with 
natural foundations. I don't know if you guys have experienced this, but for me, I've dealt with a lot of oxidation with different brands. So this will be really interesting to try under makeup and see if it helps with that. But for now, I'm gonna do ugh, a little pump and see how it works. I don't know if you're supposed to shake it, actually. Let me read. So it doesn't say anything about shaking it, but it does say it should be applied prior to primer and other makeup application. You guys are reading my mind. Ooh, it comes out like a foaming face wash. This is interesting. I've never had a foaming moisturizer before. Oh, shoot, I had lipstick on. I, I'm a mess. I'm a mess. So that's super lightweight. That just like totally sunk into my skin. No problem. That is super interesting to me. And so for this one, the full size is 1.7 ounces and is $48. Ho oh, dang. Okay. Oh, this is their full size. Oh my gosh. So full size product, $48. You get it in a good bean box for 21 bucks. So steal. So now I'm going to go ahead and calculate with my phone how much everything in here was worth. So as I'm calculating right now, I realize that I did not tell you the value of the highlighter from Au Naturel, worth $8.88, this little sample that we got. So after doing the calculations, and hopefully I did them correct, $21 a month for the Good Being box, and I got all this stuff, a full size, two deluxe samples, um, $85.28. That's amazing. So, all this, $85.28. Okay, so now what I think I'm gonna do is talk about last month's Good Bean Box, the April Good Bean Box, and just talk about the products that I liked. So kind of picking up where Andy the Green Queen does her thing. And um, yeah, so I'm just gonna talk about the products that I really liked from last month. And the first one being that Biodera face mask. It was, I believe it was like coconut, well actually it says right here. Yeah, the Coconut Matcha Brightening Mask, and I really liked that a lot. You can still see a little bit of that unicorn horn that I was growing in my last video. It's still there, just a tiny bit, but after even just one use, the redness around it went down significantly. It wasn't that bright red grabbing all the attention. Um, so I loved that, and then I just used it, I think maybe two more times after that, and each time... I would use it before I went to bed and then wake up the next morning and my face was just like glowing. I really, really liked it. So getting the full size of that. And then one of the other things I really liked was the Masi G Coconut Pulling Oils. They were just so handy. I was able to keep them in my purse and then when I would get to work, just rip it open, put it in my mouth, swish it around, spit it out after 20 minutes. And having it just the capability of having it on the go instead of having that huge jar of coconut oil and having to get a spoon to like scoop it out it was just way way easier to have it in little pouches so i'm for sure getting the full size of that so yeah those were my two favorites from the last one um as far as the other items in there i can't i feel like it can't really give a good review of them because one with the little hair and nail skin pills I feel like those do the best when you take them consistently so if I took them every single day for 14 days and I took a picture of like my before and then a picture of after you would be able to tell but I am so bad with taking things consistently I just I didn't it was like so sporadic that I feel like it, it's not worth giving a review because I don't really know if it did anything so sorry about that and then the facial steam was just that once so I really enjoyed it I had never done a steam before so I had the towel over my head and I did the steam and I don't know if I did it correctly because it wasn't I enjoyed it it smelled really good and my face felt really good but I feel like the water wasn't hot enough to maintain that constant steam if that makes sense I feel like I should just edit this out because I don't know how to describe this I'm really bad at describing things I just I wasn't sure I did it correctly I guess that's the, simp the simplest way to put this and then the other thing was the nail polish 
and as you can see I have yet to put it on but I'm planning on going on Friday so there you go there is my unboxing hopefully you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video whenever that is thanks for watching and I'll see you later bye